We begin here at noon with breaking news. Late this morning, a Barron County judge has ruled that Governor Evers' order about indoor capacity at bars and restaurants is once again in effect. This comes after several legal challenges. Our Ryan Jenkins has been following the court case. An attorney for the Tavern League of Wisconsin argued that the capacity limits being directed under emergency order number three were crafted unlawfully, but a judge ultimately determined that the order will stand for now. Plaintiffs and interveners have not uh, shown that they are entitled to a temporary injunction and I deny their request. Emergency order number three, which directs public spaces such as restaurants and bars to operate at 25% capacity in Wisconsin, was temporarily blocked last week after the Tavern League of Wisconsin filed a lawsuit worried the order will force businesses to suffer even more. Today in court, lawyers continued to share their concerns. Numerous businesses have gone under during the pandemic. We don't need to add more to the list in the name of acting quickly and avoiding the law. The attorney for the Tavern League argued that DHS Secretary Designee Andrea Palm, an unelected official, broke the law when she issued the order, arguing that the order should have been approved by state legislature. Wisconsin Attorney General Colin Hector told the judge the emergency order was crafted to avoid catastrophic spread of the coronavirus. The only way to bring Wisconsin's economy back is to get this virus under control. Emergency Order 3 is an effort to do that. After a two-hour hearing, Barron County Judge James Babler decided to reinstate Governor Evers' order, removing the temporary injunction, saying attorneys for the Tavern League and for some small businesses did not have enough proof that this order harmed businesses, saying their concerns were theoretical. The order will now be reinstated and it will remain in effect through November 6th, though there will likely be appeals and there are many exemptions to the rules being reinstated today. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.